Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the host file in your Mac OS. Host file in any operating system is useful if you don't want to use your configured DNS server in your operating system to do the name resolution. Instead, you would like to rely on a host file where you manually specify the IP address and domain name of your resources or devices that you are trying to connect. Now, this is useful if you want to do name resolution of a particular device. In other words, you can manually configure the domain name to a specific IP address. In my case, I would like to connect to my vCenter server of my lab environment, which has its DNS entry registered on my lab domain controller or DNS server. And on my Mac, this lab DNS server is not added as one of the DNS server. So if I click on Apple icon and go into system settings and I will click on Wi-Fi and I'm connected to this Wi-Fi network. So I'll click on details and I'll click on DNS. You can see my Mac is configured with the ISP's DNS server. So if I do a NS lookup to my vCenter server, which is vcsa01 tasty biryani.local, it cannot find. And if I browse the IP address of my vCenter server, and if I click on log into vSphere client, it fails on the name resolution. So let me show you how to edit and add the host entries in the host file of your Mac OS. So I'm back into my terminal application. Let me exit out and then clear the screen. I'm going to type sudo nano etc host. So the host file is in the directory etc and I will open it with the text editor nano. So I'm going to press enter or return key. Now it will prompt you for the administrator password, which I'm going to type. Now in this text editor, you can see the default entries. So you can use the arrow keys to navigate to the end of the file. Then on a new line, you can add the IP address of the device that you want to add. So I will add the IP address of my vCenter server, which is 192.168.10.6. Now I'm going to press tab and I'll type the fully qualified domain name of my vCenter server, which is vcsa01.tastybiryani.local. Now I'm going to press Control O and it's going to prompt me to save the changes to my hosts file. So I'm going to press enter. Okay, so you can see it said it wrote 10 lines and I'm going to press Control X to exit out. Let me see if I can access my vSphere client and let's see if it does a name resolution. Let's see if I can log into this. Yep, if I try to access my vCenter server, it is able to access after I made the changes in the host entry. So edit the host entry. This is how you edit the host file in your Mac OS. I hope you find this video helpful. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.